sit underneath the mango tree up here. I'm trying to work out how I can get to them. But I haven't got my go-go gadget arms or a trampoline or a ladder or a box to stand on. So I think I'm going to have to walk away from the mangoes. Because uh, it's not even climbable. Oh, mangoes, I will find a way to eat you. But I suppose for now I should probably focus on the fact that i got to get on my bike. So we're kidding up again today. Uh, we've got another two days on the road. We're heading south in Belize. It's going to change a little bit from what we've seen before. A little bit more Mayan culture side and slightly less developed. So time to get up, get on the bikes, hit the road. We are legit starting from the beach today. Bikes are all in. Uh, we just got a little team photo before we leave this epic spot and go on to the next epic spot because it's basically one epicness after one epicness. So, I don't know if you can see in the wing mirror. We need to keep going. Prince Harry is behind us. What? How cool! Woo! Prince William and Kate are about to drive past. Off the bike, sweltering heat, kid off, bikini on, and we got a lunch stop by a river in the jungle. Okay, how are, how are the people? You're hurt. I'm fine. Do you want to take your rucksack off? <laughs> no. You okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just had a bit of an off in the group. Uh, thankfully, both riders are very okay. Laura's a little bit injured, old injury kind of re-aggravated. Got some bike fixes to do. I've just been sent to find a rock. And typically, when you need a rock, can I find a rock? I'm just like walking along in the jungle. Um, there are no rocks. There is a random path up here that, I don't know, the boogeyman's definitely in there. I can hear something big. Probably a monkey. I'm gonna, I'm not getting spooked. There's, Nothing to be afraid of, apart from all of the boogeymen of the jungle. I'm just looking for a rock. Why is it that when you need a rock? Oh God. Something big up there. Okay. Probably a monkey. 
I think I just spooked myself. You just witnessed it. Um, I'm making defeat on the rock that way. I'm going to look the other way. Well, I am an amateur rock hunter, but you did it without me. Yeah, we, we did find Susanna is a professional rock hunter. Oh, I see what's you happening know. here. We need more. Oh, strong. <laughs> Really bright. Wow. I'm lying on the grass. The uh, one of the good reasons why we're running it's really bright leaf fans is that there's lots of them here, and so parts are available. We've just gone from being all good for five, six days of riding to four gear shifters in the space of about six minutes. Um, but thankfully, this guy has opened up on a Sunday. napping on the grass and it's getting fixed for us. Um, we're just chilling out under a coconut tree. Another day's riding down, we're at another new destination, right near the sea. What was the highlight of today? What do you reckon? Sketchy fire tower with a beautiful view. Ah, tower sketchy. Yeah. sketchy tower. The one that you went all the way to the top of. Uh, to exactly, see that view. yeah, that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. The yes. camera, they know that you didn't go up. No, they don't. Just so you know. I maintain my innocence. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but we have no video evidence of you going anywhere past the first staircase. Just right, going to put it out there. Right, yeah. Well, we'll <laughs> I reckon my second highlight to that was uh, the cold water in the river. It's just so good. The heat here. I know we're all in gear. You don't ride motorbikes not in the right gear, even in the Caribbean. But it is warm and sweaty. And our little song in the jungle earlier. It's real. Do you remember the song? <laughs> is it still in your head? <laughs> yes, it is. It will never lose my head. <laughs> Time to head up top, up here. Um, and there are some cold beers up there waiting for us. Is ready? Yeah. Yes, there we go. Two. Oh boy. Right. Okay. Salud. 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 On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, that's a lock of strength of the bad bitches. Emma, come on, girl. Come on, golden duck. Oh.
Come on, to the death, girls. She's not even trying, look. Look at her face. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Look at that gun. It actually fucking that? hurts the elbow on this table. I'm actually pretty match. Somebody fucking turn that bitch down. <laughs> this, this is, is like the like longest Michael arm wrestle on. ever. Yeah, Go, cute. ladies, come on! <laughs> oh! Ding, 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 ding. We're stopped in a Mayan village, which is pretty remote. It's dirt. We've been riding here for a while. So we're at a junction. We're going to head this way now, and that takes us to the Guatemala border. So we're going to head down there, have a look, and then we're going to come back through and head that way and carry on with our... <laughs> in a very remote Mayan village. We are very close to the Guatemalan border, so we're quite far into the depths of Belize. And yeah, we've come into this village and kind of some mixed emotions. People don't see a group of ladies on bikes and travelers very often. Um, so there's a bit of fear, kind of a lot of emotions going on right now. a bit of a long slog this morning we've made it to a lunch stop and what better way to be greeted than fresh watermelon juice that was awesome all the way to the guatemala border mayan villages and some pretty epic bumpy riding let's just say that this is um mm, mm. clambering down the bank for a post lunch swim and i cannot wait to get in that water Covered in dust, all sweaty in the most gorgeous resort, and uh, there's a cocktail bar. So Ducky is making us some cocktails, and we're gonna sit on their amazing balcony and enjoy them. Maybe if you scream, look, there's a howler monkey. We've finally seen the Howler Monkeys. Um, I've got a lot more appreciation for David Attenborough now and all of his team at Capturing Animals because I've just got my best attempt at showing the Howler Monkeys to you. I'll keep trying, but they're up there and they're throwing berries at us. We're on the rooftop playing uh, pool, snooker, whatever the ones are described being the colour balls are, and yeah. Carl's free one off the table, off the balcony, into the crocodile pen. There isn't a crocodile, but we won't tell him that.
final day on the road today. So just loading up the bag. We are going to do a cave walk and have a guide that's going to do that with us. Then we're going to be heading back to Hopkins, which is uh, our final night here in Belize and then flying out to Morrow. I'm definitely feeling a little bit tired now. Uh, it's been an 11 day trip and 11 days with two rest days means a lot of time riding but the heat also fatigues it we've had loads of chill out places swims etc so it's been a really lovely balance and i can't believe it's the last day already i kind of feel like where'd the time go but i have so many incredible memories and the variety of activities that we've done is absolutely insane so this tip trip is so motor turismo are a sort of an aggregation website in some ways they have a whole load of pre-approved authorized motorcycle tour holidays from enduro to big adv all over the world and a way on the website to find the trip for you i don't know looking by budget or looking by region country etc and they have a whole range of tours like this available now each of those tours are then run by independent tour runners so this tour is a women's only tour by big little rides which is Jürgen and Agla. Now they are two very cool adventure ladies. You will have seen them lots throughout the video. And I've got to say, if you're a female thinking about that you want to get into riding a bit more, that uh, you don't have friends to ride with, that you want to go on a holiday on bikes, but I don't really want to go with guys, or you're a girl that's always riding with guys like me, then their trips are a really wicked way to uh, get out there, meet a whole load of new friends. Off the back of this trip, I now have friends in six new countries that ride bikes, so future adventures. It's a, uh, a lovely way to meet like-minded people, and that goes with any trip, guys, girls, all over the place. That's one of the beauties of pre-organized trips, and the, the biggest thing that I love about pre-organized trips is that the, the research, the booking, the finding the best roads, the, you know, the ultimate stop for the waterfall that the maps the tourists don't necessarily know about is all done for you and I love that. So, um, right, I'm going to finish getting my bags on, get some breakfast and then we'll be heading out into beautiful sunshine. the first point of our next activity which is in a local village we're gonna be having lunch here in a little while but for now we're gonna be picking up three guides who know the cave systems this is a bit of a secret cave system so I'm not gonna be able to tell you where it is I'm sorry but um, three extra guides are coming with us which means we've got to go a pillion into the jungle to get to the cage uh, the caves so this is gonna get interesting is it the Kekchi program here all of these villages is Kekchi and especially mine. My job is a tour guide. I license with the tourist board from Belize City. Everybody knows me that I, I have a tour guide license here. We are at the blue hole. You can see why it's blue. And we've got to cross over to get to the caves that we're going to. We've made it to the entrance of the cave. It is looking huge. Just when you think the trip can't get more awesome, we've been on a tour of the caves. We are now splitting up into the village into twos and threes to have lunch with the locals in their home. It's just inc incredible. It's incredible. We're in the home. 
farm oh, now. And my name is Antonia. Antonia. Yes, I am Vicente's wife. Okay. Lovely to meet you, Antonia. And you too. There's a bench. Thank you. This is the local bench for the Mayan people, so that's why that we always use. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Beautiful. It's so cool in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, cool. Not yeah. only that. Oh, thank you oh, so wow. much. This. Wow. What is? I'm not sure. This, this looks like chicken. That's our chicken soup. Chicken soup. soup. Wow. And, and the squash. Mm -hmm. I love the squash. Ah, oh, thank you. Lovely. Oh, yummy. Yes. Yes. Okay, and that's corn tortilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's the, the local dish that we call um, caldo. Mm -hmm. That broth was just to die for. I could take that home and eat it every day. Uh, the daughter came in who makes chocolate. They roast the beans, break them up, rub them into cocoa nibs, and then she makes chocolate. And I'm, I bought some because it's really rich dark chocolate. It's not got much sugar in it at all. Yum. Mm. We've finished the riding here in Belize, but there is still one more thing installed for us because it's not over until we get on the plane tomorrow. Uh, so it's time to get the kid off, have a little refresh, and then we are going to be going out on a boat at night. It's going to be pretty cool. Okay, we're on a boat. You can't really tell. I was told on the It's about pitch lucky. black, and we are heading out. Yeah, you, you basically. Well, could this with uh, Okay, let's try it. Let's go. Oh, there we go. The girl on the bike. There we go. And yet, and I and came in on. To the purpose. We yes. are on a bioluminescence tour, mm -hmm. which is a glowing algae that looks really cool on the water. And it's like fireflies, but water ones, right? <laughs> apparently, <laughs> I've got to go in the water. Yeah, that's all of the boogeymen that like Vanessa's feet are gonna be in that water. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. So what are we looking for, Loki? What are we looking for? Uh, we're looking for uh, creatures that are moving around at night. Alright. So, uh, this is up the tour. We were promised all these great lucky stories. Normally normally what we're looking for are eye shine. Hey? <laughs> and so in order to spot eye shine, you need to have your flashlight in front of your eye level, okay. right? So that okay. uh, uh, you can see whatever is uh -huh. reflecting back at you. So okay. sometimes we'll find um, raccoons, paramundis, kinkajous up in the trees. Kinkajous, really? Kinkajous. Yeah. That is cool. We'll find them up in the trees and then we'll find... Um, Without the... <laughs> We survived the bioluminescence night trip on the boat and it has now come to the end of the Motor Turismo motorcycle tour with big old rides here in Belize and you can tell by my voice and maybe my energy that I am exhausted from the adventures. It's been absolutely awesome being able to combine exploring and seeing the wonders of Belize, the jungle, the Caribbean ocean, the caves, the rivers on motorcycles, but also have so many fun, different, varied and cultural activities queued into it. For me, I'm a massive fan of the ride fly holidays, i.e. someone's planned all the best things to do because life really is pretty busy and doing the research to do it yourself takes a lot of time. I want to um, say a massive thank you to the team here. So Yoga, Aglaire, the biologists on the bike, known as Tarzan and Emma who lives here in Belize for helping make this such an incredible trip. I really hope that you have enjoyed riding, exploring and seeing the wonders of Belize with me. I'm Vanessa Ruck, the gun on a bike. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tick that little bell to get notifications and if you don't follow me on the other social medias, check them out too. Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. There's always stuff going on there in between my bigger videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to head to the airport and get myself back to South Wales and home and I'm very excited to 
get home and see my husband.